So a lot of people were frustrated with me because I didn't mention the Dodge Viper and several other SRT vehicles. We're going to break this down one by one because they are not muscle cars. See, under the hood was a Lamborghini Develop V10. That's all it was. You see, they were supposed to use a Gitrag transmission for the Viper, but Gitrag was like, you know what? Nah, I can't see us, us doing anything like that. Nah, we good. And then a lot of you mentioned the SRT Ford Neon. You see, this thing was never a muscle car, and I shouldn't even have to, you know, I, I, I shouldn't even have to explain this. The only reason they built this thing is to compete with the tuner car market of the early 2000s. You know, the Honda Civics that everybody liked to throw K20s and B-Series and K24s under the hood of and strap a turbo to. And it was accepted with mixed reviews. Some people said this thing was reliable. Some people said this thing was utter and pure chaos. You see, Chevrolet tried to do the exact same thing, but they never took off properly. I mean, let's face it. They were trying to compete with Honda. They dominate the four-cylinder market. I mean, that and, well, I mean, maybe you can consider Mitsubishi with their 4G63T, but that's an entirely different video. Remember, yesterday, let's think back to the video. When we was talking about the Challenger, I also mentioned the fact that a lot of these Mopar vehicles utilize an old Mercedes-Benz chassis. Well, this one is no better. This thing is literally, through and through, a Mercedes-Benz SLK, and if you don't know what that is, let me show you. And this is the Mercedes-Benz SLK32. Oh, and last but not least, the SRT Google. We've, I'm finna tear a lot of people apart with this one. I don't care if your mama said it. I don't give a damn if your grandmammy said it. The SRT Google has never existed, never will exist. It doesn't. You will not find no official articles from Dodge themselves or SRT or Tim Taniski's grandmother. You will not find it from neither one of them where they said the SRT Google is an official vehicle. This was a hoax because people were trying to find out about the Dodge Demon. Remember that these you know rumors about the SRT Google came out around that time. It is not a real vehicle. Vehicle. Folks was like, bro, it's going to get an Allison transmission, the 426 Helifant engine. It's going to have a Dana something something rear end. No, that's not even true, dog. Think about this. If they were going to come out with the 1,000 horsepower SRT Ghoul, although it would have been a much nicer name than Demon 170, why would they build the Demon 170? Let's use our brains. And then come to think of it, Stellantis no longer has Tim Taniscus and they disbanded SRT. They won't be making any more V8s. So they say, Solantis wouldn't know how to build a proper muscle car if it bit them on the ass. I'll tell a CEO that to his face. But it isn't entirely their fault. Increasing emissions regulations are putting a stranglehold on V8 production. It's just much easier to create a turbo four-cylinder or a twin turbo inline six that makes just as much if not more power as a V8. And even with that excuse, it's still kind of hard to, you know, accept that one because we now have the fourth generation of Coyote, which seems to catch fire more often than not. And we also have a sixth generation of small block Chevy in production right now. Might be LT based, but who knows?